just a few words about the mysterious eye. Um, an obscure decades old movie from the 60s maybe. So, <laughs> come to think of it, now that I laugh, uh, there's, uh, there's probably some humor there. It's not meant as a comedy. On the contrary, it's supposed to scare you to pieces or something. <laughs> uh, but then, um, uh, it might not, because the special effects uh, are so pathetic. They're old, that's, that's also true. Kicking the dead horse. That's what I'm doing now. Uh, they didn't have the computer uh, technology. They didn't have the computer at all. Have to think of it. Uh, or well, maybe there was something that uh, it's the days uh, when they had a couple of computers, you know, <laughs> as big as that house there, <laughs> and they could produce. Uh, uh, all they could take out is what um, the iPhone has um... <laughs> I don't know, in, in, in a little corner of, of, of it so, uh, as you know, the computer power well, there's the expansion um, so um, there's that, which is island, and they have those charming crabs. Tacky. And there are clearly some contraptions that uh, may have been the best there, but it, <laughs> it looks silly. Or well, it did to me, maybe I'm wrong. Um, And that's that's key to this film, with special effects. <coughs> William Goldman, I keep referring to him. I mentioned him yesterday in one of the notes. I can I do that all the time <coughs> because uh, these uh, adventures in the screen train feel fairy feels like um, the Bible for the movie industry. It, it, it's not because I said so. It's <coughs> it, 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 it's listed among the most important books on films and that's in fact the reason I, I read it and I, I was mesmerized. So he talks about Hitchcock, about uh, film doctor, uh, which he combats and uh, <coughs> he says um, it's not the director who is giving you uh, this or that other masterpiece. It's the cast, it's the producer, it's the screenwriter. William Goldman is a very gifted, uh, extraordinarily gifted <laughs> screenwriter. And then, in the five elements, and then for some movies, music is crucial. He gives the example of uh, Chariots of Fire, Van Gogh's. The sound there is making the move. And then the special effects. And he refers to Jaws. Nowadays, special effects are, in most of the black masters, uh, almost everything. We even have uh, the mega hits, Avatar, uh, Avengers, and all the rest. The Fast and the Furious 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> soon to be 35 or 120. Um, Without special effects, these, these movies are uh, defying uh, laws of physics, gravity, reality, uh, because they can, because they have the computer technology to make you believe that cars fly and, um, well, everything is possible. Um, so, ah! 
they make the wall vermin, as anticipated vermin, real. Of course, many of, maybe most, I don't know, I don't have the statistics, I haven't read about them. Most of the predictions of them really came to life, we see them in, in reality. <coughs> but there may be some which are not there yet, but you can believe them if you see them on screen. Uh, present day I'm thinking now of Journey to the Center of the Earth, which is something that is impossible. It will never happen. <laughs> because you can't. Uh, I'm a geophysicist by training, so geology tells you it's not. But if you use the special effects and you put it on film, well then, there you have it. Some people who believe uh, in the big steel, in Italian satellites uh, interfering in elections, uh, Jewish space lasers and whatnot, uh, in, in, in medicine for COVID, which is given to horses, they will believe anything. <laughs>